This contains strong language, sexual scenes and references from the beginning and throughout. My first impression of Steph is I feel like she looks like a party girl and I feel like she's going to have a lot of banter. I think me and her are going to get on. Ditsy, she's a bit away with the fairies. Loud, party girl. She's got a lot of hair. She's got a lot of fucking hell, there's so much hair there. First thing I thought, wow, she's tanned. Hope she's not as tanned as me. But my first, first impression was the boobs. They walked in before she fucking did. The first thing I seen was her tits and she had a very big pair of teeth. She's a proper Jordy. I do really like her. I can't wait to get to know her a little bit more. I know Steph very well. We used to text ages ago and we have had a cheeky neck on. I honestly think she's good for this house and she's gonna fit in really well. I think Steph will definitely survive in the Jordy Shaw house. I mean, she's getting on with all of us girls already. It feels like she's been here a lot longer than she has. Aaron knows Steph from Ibiza, so everyone knows you go to Ibiza if you like to party. So therefore, my impression of Steph is she's a party girl. She's spent the last five years in Ibiza, so I know she's got what it takes to party hard in this house. She's so canny, I don't think she's got a bad bone in her body, so I think she's gonna fit in really well. Steph's dress sense, she's very funky, some of the, some of the stuff, but I think she's got a very like, rock chicky kind of vibe. It is quirky, but I love that kind of shit, and she always, always looks good. I've noticed Steph likes a lot of wool. She wears wool jumpers, wool cardigans, wool hats, even wool slippers. When Steph first walked into the house, all I seen was this white dress with her tits on show. I've been there. When I first started Geordie, I did the same thing. Walked in with my tits out. Give it a couple more weeks, that girl will be wearing a lot of different clothes. So I'm excited to give her a little bit of a makeover. I just think she needs a little bit of help and I think the girls are the right ones to do that for her. To walk in this house as a girl, it's fucking hard work because the girls in this house are very, very close. When you see the, the bond that everyone else already has to try and get in with that is very hard, but I think She's doing mint. The girls that have been here a while are very territorial and it can be quite intimidating and I totally understand that. But for Steph, I feel like she can fit in really well. I think Steph is quite a large lad as well. Um, some arms, I think, in a way, she can be quite tomboy. Um, so I think she's gonna get on with that, great. I don't know if there's any boys that she fancies in this house right now, but the boys will probably try and graft her. There's a lot of girls in this house, but I feel like Steph brings like a breath of fresh air. Like she's, I feel like she's a very loyal friend. I feel like I'm gonna really enjoy her. I think having another girl like Steph in this house is just amazing because the more the merrier, and I feel like she could be a partner in crime. I do feel like she's gonna bring a lot of energy, a lot of fun. She's really good to be around, and she's got a good aura. And I don't think we're going to have much trouble with her. I just think she's going to be a really nice girl who I'll eventually call one of my sisters. Oh, no.